I think the biggest factor here is going to be that Trey White June first money and and what happens um, with that money. We know that we still have to sign the rookie class. Um, that should factor into be about two million dollars, um, which leaves us with the money that we have now plus the Trey White money. It's going to leave us with about the ten million dollars to play with. Um, so does Bean kind of keep that money in his pocket for um, in season moves? You know, kind of let this roster play out a little bit. Um, see if there's any injuries. You know, we we've seen this roster get just absolutely devastated with injuries um, last year going into the playoffs. It was the linebacker position, cornerback position. Um, we've seen it be the safety position. Uh, I could see a world where, you know, Bean has experienced that and, you know, he's loaded up on trade capital next year. Maybe he just wants to keep that in his pocket and be able to make a bigger swing you know, once the season gets rolling, as he sees, you know, oh, this part of the roster isn't working out the way that we thought it would, or, oh, we're really, we're already on CB3 and it's week four. You know, things that you never want to see happen, but always happen in football. Um, So I think, personally, I've gotten myself really excited to see what they do with this June 1st money. Um, You know, you start looking at the really fun ideas of like, does Bean take a big swing and try to make a trade for, you know, a Debo, Debo Samuel or T. Higgins or Brandon Ayu? Um, do we see something like that? And I think it's much more likely that we see kind of a status quo and maybe some smaller moves. Um, for anybody out there that's really excited for a big swing at the receiver position, I'm just going to I'm going to approach that with you know a pumping the brakes mentality. I think if you're looking through the free agent route, I think the Bills are pretty set with who they have at receiver and I, from all the languaging coming out, it sounds like, you know, they're pretty comfortable with uh, uh spinning the ball around, giving everybody a turn with it. Um so I think you're kind of top like five receivers are pretty much locks and you already have a decent competition for like wide receiver six. I think unless you're adding kind of like a bona fide number one receiver, I just don't see it as likely that they're going to use these assets that they free up to add somebody in to, you know, convolute this wide receiver four, five, six type battle. Um, if anything, like I said, I could see a move at across the defensive line, maybe cornerback, maybe some more linebacker depth being added. Um, but we'll see. 